And tonight, Wellington police released body camera video of the shooting that put two officers on leave. And here it is. You can see the man walking towards those officers. And we're now getting a closer look at what happened next this weekend. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Courtney Guzman. We know that man who was shot by police is now in the hospital and is stable. News 5 anchor Delon Dillard has the rest of that body camera video and what the city is saying about it. Body camera video shows a man walking out of his home toward Wellington police officers over the weekend. We're told a knife is in his hand and as you can hear, Scott, put it down. Police Scott. command the man multiple times to stop and put down the weapon. A failed attempt at a taser leads to two gunshots. Wellington Police Chief Tim Barfield addressing the video Monday. What, what I can tell you is I think police officers are called to do incredible things under intense circumstances very often, and I don't think that they get a fair shake at that. I think what you saw here was uh, Wellington police officers trying their best to work with somebody. Police say they are familiar with this suspect adding that officers have responded to his home 19 times in the past nine months, from welfare checks to psychiatric situations. We used to have a place to deal with people that had mental health issues, um, and um, now that falls more and more on the police and on the jails. So that increase is tough. We're asking policemen to be a lot of different things, and one of those things are mental health professionals. The two responding officers have not been identified. Wellington leaders say both are on administrative leave as the Lorraine County Sheriff's Office investigates, but local law enforcement and security expert Tim Dimoff caused this textbook policing. That's a very unique response, and um, I don't know of any better response that anyone could ask for that's a family member of, of that victim that is now injured. You want to say a prayer? Are you are you a religious man? Very. Very religious? What kind of prayer do you want to say? One of the officers offering to pray with the man just seconds after shooting him. The chief says this not only speaks to the compassion of his officers, but the need for more mental health resources. This is hard. This is a part that I don't think we get enough credit for. Right? We're asked to do impossible things and asked to be superhuman at these kinds of things. I'm proud of my people. I'm proud of this town. I think we have good backing here. 